Hello everyone. So in this video, I will walk you through Google Cloud Certified Professional Data Engineer Exam Strategy Tips and the Exam Overview or the Certification Overview. So about me, I have 20 years experience in IT industry with focus on cloud data, uh, machine learning and DevOps. I hold more than 50 plus certification in all the above fields. And I am a two times uh, Google Professional Data Engineer certified and also one time Google DevOps and one time Machine Learning, Google Machine Learning Engineer certified. And my LinkedIn profile is here. So feel free if you want to connect with me or uh, follow me. Uh, so this is how my profile looks like just in case if you find uh, more people with the same name and all. Okay, so moving on. Uh, so this is the first time when I got certified. It was uh, way back, uh, uh, three years back, uh, 6 January 2020. And the uh, certification was valid till 2022. And then it got expired after two years. So this was the first time uh, when I appeared and passed uh, the exam. And this was uh, the second time. This is the recent one. And I appeared on 19 Feb and the uh, certification was is issued on 20 Feb. And it's valid till 2025 for next two years. And now coming to the exam, uh, uh, exam details. So exam cost is 200 USD, which is the listed price, and it may differ based on your country. And here in India, I paid 141.60, uh, 141.60 USD after taxes and all. So listed price was 120 dollars, and then there were some taxes and all. So total it came to 141 dollars. And price is same whether at whether you take at home or at the exam center. It doesn't matter whether you take or home. It will be less or not. So this is my receipt, uh, 141.60 USD, and exam date and time. So next is certification exam overview. Uh, so uh, exam consists of 50 questions to be answered in two hours, and there is no negative marks. All multiple choice question. So it will be select one right on answer out of uh, out of four. So you have four like A, B, C, D, and you uh, most likely you have to choose one. But there are some uh, question which in which you have to select two or three right answers out of five or six. So of course, if it is like five, if it is you have to select two, then it will be like you have you will begin five choices. If it's like three, uh, which will be like you have to begin six. But I didn't see much uh, three out of six. Uh, usually there were one. This was the most. 80-90% was 1 out of 4 and a uh, few cases they were like select 2 out of 5 or 6 uh, this which uh, I if I remember correctly and then if you just do the maths you have like 144 seconds for every question so that is a little bit uh, slightly more than 2 minutes for every question uh, but uh, so uh, the strategy I will talk about it later but this is just uh, roughly how much time you have for every question so the questions can be answered and also marked for review if you want to review later so so as you are going through the question you can make a choice you can make a guess uh, if you are sure or not sure uh, make a guess uh, choose one answer and you can mark it for the review so once you go through all the questions you can uh, go through the, uh, the questions which you have marked for the review and uh, one more thing no pen and paper allowed or provided so there's uh, so you, there is a there is one thing there is no math uh, which, which you don't have to do any kind of maths for the exam but uh, if you want like so better you just mark it for the review uh, instead of using pen or paper to uh, remind yourself that you have may have to go through some questions at the end and the certification is valid for two two years and it can be taken on site at exam center or remotely proctored so usually i can i prefer at the exam center because you don't have to worry about uh, your internet breaking down or you don't have to sit in a, a room uh, without anybody and and basically you are at at home you will be just constantly staring at your monitor uh, and and at the exam center there's no uh, restrictions like this there because there's no webcam so basically you can sit at uh, whatever position you feel like you can take a toilet break uh, <laughs> So it all depends uh, at the exam center. Uh, and one more thing, pass or fail, marks will not be shared uh, shared with you. So it doesn't matter whether you pass or fail, uh, you will not be uh, told like uh, which sections you have done well or what was the overall marks or what is the pass percentage. Uh, uh, so just, so if you, in case you fail, you have to do some kind of uh, evaluation like on which, uh, which questions you may have uh, got wrong or not. So this will be a difficult task if you uh, happen to fail, but uh, this is just to uh, let you know. 
and uh, one final thing exam is uh, i consider this exam to be hard uh, so all the questions i can consider difficult or moderately difficult i didn't see any question which i can consider easy so there were very few questions which i can be considered medium difficult but uh, most of the questions were difficult um, so just uh, uh, so make sure that you prepare well uh, and my exam strategy i'll just talk about i'll just share uh, so uh, usually i do like a process of elimination so let's say most question have four uh, choices and i have to pick one so uh, i'll just quickly glance through all first go through the question and then uh, read through the choices and first i will eliminate two wrong choices which will be obvious uh, in lot of questions and once i have eliminated the two so for example a b c d so in my mind i know b and c is uh, is silly or distracting so i'll just read through a and d again and again uh, quickly and then i'll uh, pick uh, the best one so then uh, make a decision or guess between the last two strong options in this case as, as i talked about let's say a and d are the two uh, last content contenders so just pick one and if i have to guess i'll just pick one of the which i feel the most suitable and in some questions uh, there is no nothing like uh, one answer can be more uh, right than the other one uh, so you have to pick the most suitable answer so on my first go uh, i made a choice and marked all questions for review later so this is just a uh, very speci uh, personal specific to me uh, ma which i did uh, so i i went through all the questions i marked uh, uh, for review later uh, and then on the second uh, once i have uh, marked all 50 questions on the second time around i just uh, read through all my answers and uh, just i wanted to confirm or change so uh, uh, only for 10 20% of my 10 i can i remember just i changed my choice uh, and this also uh, like where once you read through all the 50 questions and read through all the 50 answers so within one hour uh, after one hour you will realize that uh, some of the uh, concepts and uh, your memories will start to come back and you will be able to like uh, fix some of your uh, earlier uh, mark for review questions uh, so that's why i just went to the second run and so uh, for the first run i just for every question i spent uh, uh, around 90 seconds 1 minute 30 seconds and i just marked uh, all questions and in the second run i just confirmed okay i was right or not and in the second and there were very few instances like around 5 to 10 questions i just fixed um uh, so that gave me like a good idea about uh, where i stand overall and the top topics in order so if i have to say like uh, these three topics big query data flow and big table uh, these are like the bread and butter of like google data, data analytics exam especially the top one is big query so big query uh, you should know everything about big query uh, like how the data sets projects users tables um, uh, query options views uh, big query ml and next is a data flow uh, for the data processing so this is the, their top products and big table is uh, for no sequel so these three you should know very very well and then data proc which is like hadoop on google cloud and pub sub uh, which is a messaging uh, uh, system then uh, comes cloud sequel so this is in the order i am going so this is most important second most third most like this cloud sequel cloud spanner cloud composer uh, which is for orchestration uh, which is basically apache airflow and data prep uh, for the preparation uh, through uh, point and click solution uh, data fusion for the for pipelining data processing so this uh, these are the like uh, data flow and data fusion can do similar but data fusion is totally like uh, point and click uh, and cloud dlp uh, data loss prevention apis pre trained uh, machine learning uh, apis uh, artificial intelligence apis uh, so this is this uh, this was a like a big chunk and fund, uh, you should know fundamentals of machine learning uh, feature engineering uh, what is overfitting what is feature engineering and last uh, identity and access management access control service accounts users groups roles all these things uh, how they like go through all the services and uh, just know like little bit about kafka hive pig hadoop uh, just to know what these products do okay now last is just to do like some guess work so if you have to choose uh, do the guess work and if you are not sure what is the answer so uh, like this is the last uh, when you have no idea what is the uh, solution so choose ideal recommended solution reference architecture so in case you have a b c d and you have no idea so just choose the whichever is the most ideal or recommended solution as per the google uh, documentation uh, next uh, choose always choose google products over other products of course this is a google's exam and they would like to 
recommend or promote or market uh, as much as possible their own products so if they are google products versus some other products like open source or some other products so uh, definitely choose their product so i'm not saying this should be always be the case but uh, if you have to do a guesswork remember this is a guesswork where where you have no idea what is the right answer so if if you have like no clue then go with google product and avoid uh, complex convoluted lengthy manual error prone cumbersome solution so what i mean is like if you see some uh, solution like uh, option like choice a b c d and one of them is talk about like i'll spin up a virtual machine on google compute engine then i'll write a shell script bash script then i will connect to this service that service and do some uh, uh, like some magic to make the solution uh, work then uh, try to avoid those kind of solution uh, most of the google uh products or services on the cloud for the data uh, they already have a lot of like built in uh, uh integrations all those uh, things so it's definitely most of the time it will not be the ideal uh, uh, solution and if if you are a little bit unsure or question uh, or if the question is uh, too time consuming mark for review later as i talked about and this i already talked about after once you have gone through all 50 questions uh, you will figure out some unsure questions in the your last 30 40 minutes if you have time to like review the, uh, so you can keep aside 30 20 minutes uh, depending on how you uh, like uh, what is your speed at which you go through all the questions and if all else fail go with your first guess so usually this is like so when you first time when you read uh, the question and you picked one of them uh, out of your like you will vaguely remember something here and there so just go with the first guess uh, this is my recommendation but uh, feel free to change uh, and do review uh, the sample question so i'll just open the link uh, so if you go land on the professional data engineer if you search uh, there is like this is all i talked about there is sample questions link and if you click that you will uh, you can go through your 20 there are 20 sample questions please do go through because uh, it will give you very good idea that how difficult the exam and all is and next is uh, the exam guide so exam guide talks about uh, all the there are four sections like section 1 designing data processing systems and section 2 designing uh, building and oper operationalizing data processing systems operationalizing machine learning model so this is machine learning is like full whole, whole section so you, if there are four section we can roughly say it, it would be around 24 25% and ensuring uh, solution quality and so some motivation uh, so if you pass the exam uh, of course there's a small motivation but you can uh, if you successfully pass you can uh, avail some gifts so this time around i was uh, eligible for one uh, like a coffee mug or coffee cup and when i passed the first time around uh, i was i i got uh, google cloud certified professional data this is like a bag uh, uh, so this is this is also useful this is small or sm some motivation for you if you pass and and that's all uh, thanks for watching bye